Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Great with Linda. So guys, it is Wednesday at, um, time is it? About 11.15 um, a.m., of course. Um, and I'm coming on because um, I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. Um, as you know, yesterday I didn't have a video up, and the day before was kind of like a quick one. Um, heard some really disturbing and um, upsetting news. Um, when was it? Monday. Yes, Monday. Um, about an old friend that had passed away. Um, that was a very big part of my teenage life, you know, very, very significant part of my teenage life and just was a really big shock and, um, um, you know, so it kind of hit me hard. So, yeah, so, um, it kind of hit me harder than I thought it would hit me. Um, it was just one of those things that I never, um, expected and expected to feel the way I did about it. Um, so I just was very debilitated yesterday. Couldn't do much. We um, actually, Julie and I went to, we did go to um, our, um, our um, uh, cardiologist visit. So we had to do that and I pushed myself to do that. Really, Julie pushed me to do that because I didn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> But I did find out that um, I my stress test came out all good. Um, he said he wasn't really sure about the right side of my heart. He thinks it was everything was okay. Just that women tend to have like breast tissue and stuff, and it's harder to see. He said, but he didn't see anything there that would even you know even um, suggest anything. So he feels like everything else is good, and you know it, it's all good. So he approved me for surgery, and he also approved. Julie for surgery. So we only have two other hurdles to do. We have um, we have the GI X-ray we have to do, and then we have to, we have our psychologist appointment, which is next week. And of course, we have to lose those few pounds that we have to lose. Uh, I don't. I haven't weighed myself, trying to be really good. So I um, want to get back to. I got to lose this nine pounds before I before they give me the date. Supposedly, I'm hoping they give me the date, and then I can still work on losing that you know, nine pounds before surgery. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I got up this morning and I um, felt a little bit better, had some closure and, um, you know, really just realized that um, everything does happen for a reason and life is too short. And, um, you know, I woke up feeling better emotionally and physically and all that. So I just went with it. So I put a little makeup on myself today, just a little bit, just to make myself feel better. And, um, you know, try to keep my, my head clear and all in the right place and everything. And um, and trying to just keep holding it together. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. You know, it's one of those things where you, you're good and then, and then a half hour later you're bawling your eyes out, you know. But um, it is what it is and it's a part of life and... Um, you know, that's it. So that's, that's all I can do guys. So I want to thank everyone for their understanding and all their, um, and all their, um, thoughtful, you know, thoughts and comments and everything. It really does help me. And doing YouTube really does, um, give my life a, a big purpose. So I just want to thank everybody for that. And, um, it's really, you know, it's really helped me. So, so yeah, so that's how I was feeling. Like I said, we're on our way, you know, for the surgery. We're, we're, we're at the, we're at the, at the, um, you know, at the uh, end of the beginning, I guess. Um, we're coming close to the end of the beginning. Um, when we get the date is when I guess I will really be like, oh, my God, this is really happening, you know. Um, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. So I have a lot to look forward to. Um, I also, guys, I have, um, um, Friday I'm doing a, um, budget meal with Jerry from Cooking with Neighbors. And, um, so we're doing that on this, this Friday coming up. And, um, which is the date is, what is the date? Let's see. Um, what is today's date? So 
today is the 8th, the 10th is Friday, and that's when the, um, the budget meal is going to be done. Uh, so look forward to that, guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then on June 22nd, I'm hosting a collab, um, an open collab, um, and doing um, a no-cook no um, meals, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or you could do the whole three meals, just dessert, whatever you want to do. Just a no-cook summer meal that'll be cool and and economical for you guys to um, to make um, during the summertime. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Maybe one or two items, at least one. But I don't know if I'm going to do any more than that. I'm, I'm not sure yet. But, yeah, so the 22nd and the 8th. So look forward to those collabs, guys. It's going to be fun. And um, so I just figured I'd come on and chat a little bit before um, and then load this up. And then um, I'll do my what's for dinner tonight. So, um, yeah, so it's just, you know, I'll tell you guys, I don't even know what to say about grieving. Like, death is just, I think, just, it's just so permanent, you know, and, and, um, also it's like your mind, like, I really learned that your mind is really what controls your whole body and life. Like, the things you tell yourself are the things that make you act the way you act or feel the way you feel the way you act because or feel the way you feel because if I keep telling myself you know I'm this I'm that just in a negative way if I'm negative on myself or whatever then of course you're going to feel negative if you tell yourself positive things and try to be positive and try to you know have a little bit of a better outlook um I think that you know you're putting yourself in a better position. I remember reading something, I'm not sure exact, the exact quote or something, but it was something like this. Um, somebody said, like I said, I don't know where I read this or where I found this or where I saw it, but it was something that said, um, I woke up depressed today. I decided the next day to work, to wake up happy. So, they're saying in a, in a, in a gist, you know, I mean, obviously if you're, if you're have anxiety and depression chemically and all that, which I have, so I know I'm on medication for it and everything. It's not always something you choose. It's not, you know, you, you have only a certain amount of control of your, of how you feel. That's just my opinion. That's my knowledge because I go through it. So I know. Um, but I completely lost my train of thought. Oh my god, I lost my whole train of thought. Okay, I just remembered. Better hurry up before I forget again. Um, you have, um, you know, you have a certain amount of control of how you feel. The other is uncontrollable, chemical, or whatever it is, inherited, whatever. Um, so, um, but... Like, if I'm trying to think about, like, and somebody, wherever I read this, it just resonated with me, and it made me think a minute and say, you know what, I, I guess, you know, I can choose to not give into it. Like, you know, when I wake up in the morning, okay, how do I feel? I feel this, that, or the other thing. I'm going to try my best to feel differently. Maybe take action to try to you know, turn it around, like, you know, I've had this, this, since Monday, I've had this, um, like, when, when all, I've had loved ones that have died and stuff, you know, my mom and my dad, and just, you know, close family members, you just get this, I mean, I'm sure you guys know, you get this feeling in your gut, like, almost like a homesick feeling that you really can't explain, but it's just a feeling that just weighs you down, and just, you know, and just uncontrollable crying. Like, I just couldn't even talk about anything without, not without just crying constantly. Um, so, um, you know, so if you're feeling like that, like, that's why I just let myself do it. I let myself do it. I didn't try to fight it because if you try to fight it, then it just lingers on longer. And you'll never come to terms with whatever you have to come to terms with. I'm no psychologist. I'm no expert. But I've been in psychology for years and years and years, and I know a lot, and I know from my own self. So this is what I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you. Um, 
that, you know, that's, that's a fact that I do know. So, um, when you're feeling enough, when you're feeling better and emotionally okay to be able to get up and function and, you know, halfway do the things you, you want to do and, you know, need to do and, and, and have to do or whatever, same thing, have you need, um, you know, it's easier to fight through that. So that's the way I felt this morning. You know, I said I'm going to, I got up, wasn't feeling 100%, of course. I would say I'm, I feel about 60% better, you know, whereas um, I'm okay. I'm just trying to, you know, like I said, push through. Like I said, I'm going to put a little makeup on. I'm going to choose to to do something different that I didn't do yesterday that I couldn't do yesterday and um, and try to do it today. And so that's what I did. And I do feel a little bit better. I even ate yesterday. I hardly ate. Today, I ate a little bit of eggs this morning, and I kind of forced myself, and I'm just keeping my mind um, on, on YouTube and just trying to, um, like, I'm, like I said, think positively and read some positive quotes that I know were important um, to some people and just that um, really make me think about my life and think about how lucky I am to still have my life and to be with my family and, and all of that, you know, so I can't get teary-eyed now, I just can't, can't do it. All right, guys, um, yeah, this is just raw emotion, you know, talking about things, it just is what it is, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, um, Today, my plans are, like I said, um, I don't know, maybe get a little clean and done. Maybe I'll take these along. I, I doubt I will, though. I'm just um, not feeling, I'm feeling motivated, but I'm not feeling that motivated. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'm just going to push through it. I'm pushing through, guys. I'm thinking about what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I have chopped meat in there. I might make a meatloaf. Um, and then I have London broil, too, that, because uh, my son and my, uh, Julie and Frankie don't, they don't like meatloaf. So, um, I'll probably make a meatloaf and then I'll make the London broils that I have this way they're eaten too. Cause, um, I, honestly, I have to get them eaten. They're in the, um, in the refrigerator downstairs. So I have to make those and hope they're still good. I got to go down and check them. Um, and I have some frozen stuff in there too that I had, that I had bought at Joe, at Joe, at Joe Traders. At Trader Joe's, um, that I want to get cooked. I have, um sweet potato french fries, and I think I have that Mexican corn in there. I'm going to save the Mexican corn when I make, like, um, tacos or something, so yeah. But I want to get down there and check out what I got down there because, you know, it's out of sight, out of mind. It's terrible. I have to go down there periodically, or my husband tells me what's down there because of the steps and all that, um, you know, to, um, to see what I have down there. But anyway, yes, so anyway, yesterday I wanted to finish with the cardiologist he said that um, that everything came out really good and I'm doing well. He wants to see me right after the surgery so he knows if I have to still take the water pill. He said because sometimes when you're, after you have the surgery, you know you're not eating or drinking like you were. And so the water pill, you might not need the water pill. And if you take the water pill, it could make you do the opposite, you know, not help you or hurt you. So um, he wants to me to make an appointment for August. Um, I assume we're going to be having the surgery late July, I hope. We'll see. But... Yeah, so then I have to do that, but he said everything was good, and I have to lay off the salt totally, because I got bad with that again, guys. My blood pressure, oh, my blood pressure was extremely high yesterday, when I was there, and it was like 178 over 92, and, you know, that's not good. So then he waited a little while and took it again, and it was still 170 over, um, seven, it was 170 over 73 or something like that. So anyway, it was still high, but it was probably because I've been emotional and just been stressed and everything and very, you know, crazy. So that's probably why it was high. Um, and I might be using a little bit too much salt again. So yesterday, I started, when I got home, no more salt, back to using the Mrs. Dash and everything. Guys, it's so easy just to get off the, get off the, the regimen. It really is. You know, you start out so well, and then you slowly, oh, have a little, oh, I'll be, this is what happens, but it's life. It's hard. Life is hard, guys. It's so hard. So every day is a gift, and I just want to focus on that. 
So, yeah, so, um, again, guys, you know, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, you know, um, call a friend. Thank you so much to all my friends who, um, and even my, my acquaintances on Facebook and, um, wherever, you know, the social media is that I'm on. It's really just Facebook and YouTube. Um, I go on Instagram, but not that much. I don't really, I, I, I post pictures on there. TikTok I have, but uh, it doesn't. I, I'm not, I can't really get myself into that one for some reason, but anyway, thank you to everybody and all your support and everything, because I'm telling you, there are certain things in life that you can't get through without your family and your friends. You just can't. It's just the way it is. So reach out to somebody. There's somebody out there. If you don't have a friend to call, go down the street, knock on a neighbor's door. I don't, well, not a stranger's door. I don't want anybody getting dangerous. No, don't do that. Scratch that, guys. Somebody that you know. <laughs> do that. Or go to a crisis center. There are crisis centers all around. There are um, places that you can go. Go to the police station and say, I need help. Go to this hospital and say, I need help emotionally. Please, guys, don't suffer. Don't, don't suffer. Okay? Um, don't, and also, don't let anybody dull your shine. Don't let anybody put you down and... and Take, don't take their words as gospel because there's no, there's no words on this earth that can make you feel bad about yourself. You know who you are. You stand up with your head held high, and that's all you have to care about is what you, how you feel about yourself. That's the most important thing, guys. You tell yourself good things, and then you'll believe that you know, it, is good, it is good things about There are good things about you, and you don't, don't take any, what anybody says to heart. Ever. Ever. Anything negative. Okay? Anything negative. So, um, so yeah, you know, as I'm talking to you guys, like, I feel like I'm not, I feel like I'm a little bit more emotional than I thought I was today, but maybe it's just because I'm talking about it and everything and, you know, it, um, but it is normal to feel this way. I know I've, you know, I've, I've had death to my family before and all that, so, you know, my mom, my, my mom was my biggest hurdle to get over. She'll be gone almost 25 years, guys. 25 years. It feels like yesterday. My dad's about, I think it's three years. Maybe it'll be, I think it'll be four years. I think three or four years. Sorry, Dad. I forget exactly what, if it's three or four years. But, um, you know, it's just an intense, an intense, wow. It's just an intense type of hurt and pain. And, um, you know, it's, it's normal. It's normal to feel this way. So just know that it's normal and you, 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 you take the time to grieve. You know, there's, there's no timeline on grief. Like, you grieve. I grieved for, I swear to God, 10 years for my mother. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, I really did. And my dad, my dad, not as long as my mom, but very long. Like, I'm still grieving about my dad, you know. Um, but it was more intense at my mom for some reason. I don't know why. I personally think it's just a mother thing. You know, mothers, like when my mother died, I felt like I lost everything. You know, like I lost everything. This is hard, guys. I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Sorry, guys. So, anyway, I'm going to go and um, and start the rest of my day. It's 11.30, and I'm going to um, sit here probably for just a little while, reflect, and... All right, guys, I just got to pull myself together. Um, just, re- sorry, just reflect and um, think about my day and just try to get moving and, and try to get... Um, some other things on my mind. So anyway, guys, that's what I came on for today. Thank you so much again for your understanding and your love and support. I appreciate you guys so much. And you guys, really, um, YouTube is the best for me. It's the best medicine for me. And thank you when I, uh, I feel so guilty when I don't come on. And you know, thank you for understanding. And um, I just don't ever want to disappoint anybody and all of that. But um, I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching. 
Also, don't forget to hit, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button on the bottom. And also hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. Um, uh, don't forget about all the collabs I'm doing and all that. That's going to be a lot of fun. The 8th and the 22nd. I'm sorry, the, the, the 10th and the 22nd uh, is the, the collabs. Also, I just want to say, God, um, everybody, that this video here is dedicated to all the people I love and all the people that we've lost in our lives. And rest in peace, Bob. And um, I know you're singing up there in heaven. So that's, that's all I want to say, guys. All right? And I will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to do all those things that I asked you. Um, and um, I'll see you on the What's for Dinner. Bye, guys.